Did you see the title of the stream today? The title of the stream today is Improved Parenting with Home Assistant. I have been given a task by the uh, the Supreme Overlord, Mrs. Z's. <laughs> yes, so Mrs. Z's gave me the mandate of um, kids' phones. Kids' phones. Our kids, you know, it's summertime and we've been on quarantine, so they haven't really had a lot of structured schedule time for months and months and months now. What we want to do is make sure that the kids' phones are out of their rooms and charging um, before bedtime or at bedtime. And uh, I think I have a plan for how we can do this. On some of the phones, I had all the kids install Life360 because I've got a plan for an automation that will tell us whose phones are charging and not charging. Battery charging false. There you go. Okay. It sure does. And then if I do this, plug my phone in, that should update change to true here in a minute. Now it's charging. Okay, so that's that's reasonable. That's like a minute, two minutes. So that's good. Okay, so we're going to do that. All right, so now what we're going to do, what we're going to do when they come for you, we got to set up an automation. Should we try and do it in Node-RED or should we do it in, in YAML? The, here's my thinking. Here's the plan. We'll make an automation that says for each different phone at certain o'clock, it's going to check the battery charging state. And if it is true, then all's well. If it's false, then it's going to send a message to Mrs. Z's that says such and such, you know, this person's phone is not plugged in charging. Should be easy, right? Should be easy. Use what you know. I definitely know, I definitely know YAML better. I could probably do it better with YAML. Let's do YAML and then we can see if we can replicate it in Node-RED. All right. So let's try the automations editor. Let's try the automations editor. Might as well try it. So what would be the best way to do it? Should we make a sensor that extracts the attribute or should we just use a template that extracts the attribute? Probably a template, right? <gasps> There's a template condition. Oh my goodness. Okay, great. My template skills are mediocre at best. So what I want is this, right? Let's see, let's just look up templates. If anybody can spit this template out for me faster than I can find it, um, that would be just fine. Thomas is a star. Star for the day for Thomas. Thank you, sir. Okay, now we can go here, paste this in, and then we'll change this. Okay, charging true. All right, how's that look? That looks pretty good to me. And then what we can do if we want to test this template. So we can copy it from there. We go to this developer tools template page, and then we can put this in there. So this is one perfectly legitimate method, and it's it's coming up here as false. So perfect, it works. So we can also, so this is one way, and it's legitimate, it also work. If we just go battery charging, and then we just take this part out here, it will still say false. <laughs> We're just gonna skip this almond part, and we're gonna do, Jackson's phone charging, and I'm not going to bother doing all that stuff again. We're going to do the same uh, time, and we're going to do it at midnight because he gets to stay up a little bit later, and we're going to add the condition, and the condition is going to be template, and the template is going to be that. So if this is true, then, oh, wait, I don't want it to be true. I want it to be false. <laughs> Okay, this is all kinds of backwards thinking because if it's not charging, then I want that thing to read as true. So I let's assume it's midnight and his phone is not charging. There you go. His phone is not charging at midnight. So the value that the template spits out is true. The template spits out a true value when it's the condition. We now get to move on to that. So that means it's not charging. And that's when I want a service call, notify, we can try this one, uh, phone bedroom alarm, it's really what she wants is them to be out of their bedrooms, 
you know, I think I'm going to do this so that I can do apostrophes inside here. Automation UI mess with YAML part. Um, no. If you've edited your automations.yaml file directly, you can still go in and do the user interface automations. If you've made any notes in your automations.yaml, they will go away. It will, it will take away the notes. That's probably the biggest thing. Okay, so we're gonna save this. Let's add another action as well. Let's do the same thing with my phone. And that way we can test it. Call service. So the mobile app, that must be the newest thing. So I'm gonna do mine through this mobile app. Okay. All right, so that should be pretty good. Jackson phone charging. Oh, we can just do this. We can test it right here. I didn't know that. Execute. There it is. Bedroom alert. Jackson's phone isn't on the charger. That was easy. <laughs> that was easy. Now we just need to do that five more times. <laughs> Different times for weekdays and weekends. Uh, yeah, eventually. <laughs> uh, well, it's only going to do it once, guys, and then we'll just let it go. But you're right. So some things. So let's let's talk about some improvements here. So some ways to improve this. Um, you need another condition about being home. We would also want to um, change the times. Input time. Is there an input time? Is input time a, a thing? Input time is available as a helper in the front end. Oh, that's awesome. Well, that's cool. I didn't know that. Well, when the phone is fully charged at the time, the state wouldn't be charging. Uh, I guess we'll have to test that and see. I, I think it, I'm hoping that it means plugged in, but you might be right. You might be right. This is how you do it. You try stuff, it fails, you try it again. It fails, you try it again. That's the way it goes. Hey, there it is. We fixed it. Okay, but but I do want to try it in Node Red because I have actually done some Node Red and I've been getting better at it and I've been wanting to learn it. So we've got uh, Dawson and Jackson done in YAML. Let's go to Node Red and see what we can do. Okay, okay. I can tell you where I think I will have the problem with Node Red is going to be in the templating, trying to suck out that attribute. So the trigger is going to be a time. Inject. Great. At a specific time. Perfect. Oh, and this you can do different days of the week. Oh, very nice. All right, but let's say we want it to be at, who are we doing? We're doing Zachary. So Zachary's at midnight every day. Oh, this will be the name. So when the kids are in that oldest tier, they will use this one for them. All right. So now every day at midnight, this is going to go. Okay, great. Now we need to check the state, right? So now we need to get the current state. This is where I'm going to have a problem. This is where I'm going to have a problem. Just telling you right now, because I don't know how to grab just the bit out of the template. So we have some room for more nodes. Got screen space issues. All right, debug. I know where this is going. We're going to debug the whole message. Complete message object. Done. Okay. Deploy. Great. Go to the debug panel. There's nothing there. Great. Click this. Here is the message. Excellent. Okay. Under data. Under attributes. Battery charging false. We're going to copy the path. Now, what do I do with the path? <laughs> Add a switch. Okay. And then in the switch. Okay. Switch in here. I'm waiting. Is this right? Oh, just change that to is true. I gotcha. Okay, sweet. Well, I want, uh, well, I guess I don't need an is true. I just need an is false. Because that's what we want it to do. We want it to, we want it to go through if it's false. Okay. Yikes. <sighs> Okay, it's fun though. It's fun. All right. 
uh, now, so this will just activate this, right? And it doesn't matter what's coming through. So now we're going to want it to be notify Janice's phone. Do I need the entity ID? Okay, you don't need it, right? Because it's calling a service and the service is specifying which one. So now we just need the message and stuff in here. So just when, I mean, I, I'm all for learning Node Red, but just when you say how easy Node Red is versus YAML, it's not. Okay, because you still have to do all this stuff. Like you still have to type all this the same way when it comes to this kind of thing. And I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. There. Yikes. 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 Curly brackets, the curly brackets, the curly brackets. Oh, you squirrely brackets, you're so squirrely. Squirrely brackets. Let's do another one of these for my phone so that we can test it. Because right now Mrs. Z's phone is somewhere else. And we want notify, and this time it's going to be a mobile app. Oh, there it is, mobile app me. And Zach's phone isn't charging, and that's it. Oops, I keep deploying before I'm really, really ready to deploy. All right, now we're deployed. Let's test it. <laughs> uh, there it goes. Yeah, so it worked. It worked just like this. We got Zach's phone now. Thank you. Thank you very much, Fortrax. And thank you for not scaring the crap out of me this time. If you add the message data attribute friendly name, you can get the name of the device. Oh, cool. Okay, I see where you're going. I see where you're going. Okay, trying to... Trying to tell myself that I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. It's going to be bad. It's not going to be bad. It's going to be okay. All right, let's go back in here. Let's do it through mine so we can find it. Okay, now, in the message, what we want to do is change that to a template. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Friendly name. Does it have a friendly name? Yes, it does. Life360 Zach. Uh, that's too bad that it says Life360 Zach. I guess I could change the friendly name in Home Assistant and then it would work. Okay, let's do that. So here's the template. We're going to try putting this template here. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Anybody else getting nervous? I'm getting nervous. Let's look at, let's look how this looks. So message is now going to go to data attributes and grab friendly name. And it will say that person's name phone isn't charging. Let's try it again. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Life360 Zach phone isn't charging. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Now let's go to Home Assistant. Is it still, is it still under Customize? Customizations. This is where I used to do it. Is this the best place to do it still? What is this pain inducing invention? <laughs> oh, you're right, man. Let's not fool ourselves into thinking that, um, that, uh, home automation really makes things easier. <laughs> uh, name. Zach. That's it. We go back to Node Red. Let's just try it again. I mean, I don't know how often that, I don't know how fast that'll take effect, but Zach phone isn't charging. Sure enough. Actually, so let's go in here. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Let's go in here. What we need, actually, we need after this, we need a uh, there. Done. It works. Man, that is awesome. Yeah, it works. It came out, Zach's phone isn't charging. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. This, and now we're gonna do another inject because now we have to do a different time for different kids because not all the kids go to bed at the same time. Notify them on their Echo so they have five minutes to get on their charger. Ooh, that may be a good one, four tracks. I like that idea too. Give them a warning. Like, hey guys, it's five minutes still. Put your phones on the charger. Um, or send it right to their phone and say, in five minutes, mom's going to get a notice your phone's not on the charger. So get to it. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> okay. Repeat at a specified time. Zoe gets to stay up until 11. She a big girl. 
Okay, this is the middles. The littles, the middles, and the biggles. All right, topics. That's all good. Done. All right, now we're going to copy this. And we're going to make it Zoe's phone. And Zoe is the name of the entity. And everything else should be the same. All right? And actually, we should be able to go into the same switch node, right? Just like that. Oh, you're right, I did. Here, I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you, you guys are right. Man, you guys are good. You guys are like the best quality control team ever. <laughs> okay, let's try it now. So we've deployed it, so let's see if Zoe's will work. Zoe's phone isn't charging. Okay, we've done it. We've done it. So that's pretty good. Now let's think about what uh, what are some other improvements we need to make. Need to make sure they don't take the phone after a specified time. Oh, that's a good that's a good point too. Let me write that down. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I know where that's going. Okay. Uh, make sure the phone keeps on the charger. If at any time after midnight the state goes from charging to not charging get a notification. But what we've got right now, like here we have it, we started out today, right before the stream, Mrs. Z's had, Mrs. Z's kind of brought the hammer down. She's like, you kids. <laughs> I want your phones to be not in your bedrooms when you go to bed. And so we had a whole negotiation about what time they needed to have their phones in a specific charging spot. We have a plug strip. We've got, uh, everybody's got a cable now that has a label on it. I printed labels for all their cables, labels for cables. <laughs> and we've set it up now so that for, at least for the most important, the, the big four, Zoe, Zach, Jackson, Dawson, if their phones are not charging at the right time, mom and dad will get an announcement. That's a start. That's a pretty good start. We've got a good list of things that we can improve. And uh, we're definitely going to want to do some of those. I like the idea of, you know, we need to be able to know for sure that the phone is there and not that the phone is charging somewhere else. We also want to know that uh, if it gets unplugged at some point in the night, we want to know that. And we want to give them a warning, give them an, a, an Amazon Echo announcement that says, hey, it's time to put your phone away. I like it. I like it. That's good teamwork, guys. Thanks a bunch. That's fantastic. Come here. Oh, you're nice and warm. It's cold in this room. Yeah. Mmm. Okay. Are we ready? How are we going to sign off today? Okay. We're going to sign off like we're so annoyed. Okay. Here we go. Ready? As always, thanks for watching. Until next time. Adios. Sassafras. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, this box will take you to a playlist of some of my favorites. In addition to videos like this, I also do live streams every Sunday. This box will take you to a recording of the latest live stream. That's all for now. Adios.